Dan, to start off, I guess, how's this experience been representing the Indiana football team here in Chicago for Media Day? You know, it's been awesome. I mean, I've uh, seen a lot of good players, uh, seen a lot of good coaches, and I uh, uh, had the chance to talk to a, a lot of good uh, representatives, and I, I think it's a, been a really fun experience so far. From an offensive line perspective on the field, one of the better offensive line units last season, expected again this season, how do they differ personnel-wise, scheme-wise with a new quarterback? How is this year's offensive line unit different? You know, I think we're going to be different. You know, we, we lost Jason Sprague, Jake Reed. But uh, I think we'll we'll still be a solid unit across the board. I mean, uh, Demetric, myself, uh, Wes Rogers, Jacob Bailey, all fifth years, all experienced, all played in Big Ten play. You know, we know how it goes. And then we also have Wes Martin, uh, Brandon Knight. And uh, I think it's just kind of changing up and uh, making the quarterback have faith in us that we'll do our job so you don't have to worry about that. Having so much experience, whether it's on the offensive line or receivers, different skill positions around the, the quarterback, how much does that ease that process of having someone other than Nate Sudfeld under center? You know, I, th I think it's helped a lot. You know, I mean, it's it's tough when you got three quarterbacks rolling in, but I mean, also we're getting experience with three different guys, so I mean, it's good. Uh, uh, God forbid something bad happens, but uh, you know, having guys like Simi Cobbs, Ricky Jones, uh, uh, people like Devine coming back, I mean, just the experience around that quarterback position, well, I think it'll help them uh, excel.